Hi and welcome to Mini Jack. This is a, a different location from anything you've seen um, because now I am in my in my hometown. Uh, this is a little image from from here. It's a very nice and peaceful place, as you can see. And I'm here because I am uh, moving my studio and workshop uh, in this new year. And I will be in a temporary workshop in, in January. So in, in a few days I will move there. And I, I would like to thank all my clients and, and viewers for this wonderful 2018 I had a lot of orders, a lot of kindness and love from you and nothing nothing of this could have been possible without you so really thanks for my art and as, as some of you might already know I, I usually work uh, closely with uh, musicians and clients I mean, I'm always open to custom ideas and collaborations. So in, in this year, uh, I, I collaborated with, uh, with a lot of artists who, who needed something and we, we thought together how to solve their problems or uh, create new tools. Some of them are still in development at the moment. There are some very exciting projects with a quadraphonic uh, mixing, for example, and other crazy stuff. And in in the next videos, you you will see the still my my old studio because I filmed those in in the last months while working on different machines. So that that's where the videos will be set, and then. I will show you my new workshop when, when it's ready. And so in 2018 there will be some new things, some things will change, some will not. For example, I will always keep on doing custom jobs as I'm doing now. You can contact me and tell me what you need or if you need an idea or if you have an idea, we can develop this together. Uh, there are really no boundaries for that. Sometimes you can start from a really small idea and project and things can can grow. And but there will also be a non-custom line. I will probably make uh five by five mixers, eight by eight and maybe ten by ten with uh some selectable features. I will also uh, start doing things in the Eurec format, both in the synth realm, a lot in the interface design, which is, I think, one of the most important uh, parts of electronic music in this moment, of history, we can say. And of course, I will make a set of um, of modules for the distributed mixing. It's this concept I I first heard it called "Like That" by Tony Rolando from uh, Make Noise Modular, which is this concept of not having uh, just a huge mixer and everything coming in the mixer and then just one or two channels going out. But it's this concept of having uh, different mixers or mixing uh, blocks uh, along your uh, audio path and patch, basically. So you can have like uh, some audio going in here and then uh, being uh, multiplicated again and then grouped again and then split again. And so it's a more organic uh, way of mixing that reflects more um, the natural way 
which sound propagates and uh, moves through systems and acoustic systems. So this is uh, this is very very exciting actually. It's a very simple concept, but really changes the way you you look at music and and you compose. So I'm very excited about this. I, I will notify when things are ready. And what else? In this moment, as I don't have access to my hardware and my workshop, I am fiddling a little bit with the pure data. As you know, it's a great passion of mine. And today I am uh, working on this uh, patch, which is based on Kerplus Strong Synthesis. It's a model, model physical modeling of uh, strings, basically. And okay, let's let's have a, a closer look. I will switch to uh, screen capture. So uh, here I have a basic um, Carplus Strong engine with a with a short delay, which is in in a sub patch, so I can have a, a block size of one to have uh, the shortest possible delay to achieve higher pitches and this is basically how it sounds if I excite it if I run white noise through it It is not plugged, I don't have the Plectrum engine because I like this um, bowed sound, kind of, this continuous sound. And I put a bandpass filter in the white noise so I can have this nice sweeping sound. And I can also just play with the volume, sorry, it's the opposite. Like. And this is so the the basic sound of Carpal Strong, but then I thought, what if I use another sound? That's the answer. And here, of course, I can still uh, change the note. sound it's me fiddling with my hands with the uh, dry leaves it's a very crunchy sound not fluffy at all sounds like some nice popping and that's what happens so when when I run it through the engine it's basically like uh, it acts like a, a granular uh, plectrum exciting the, uh, the engine. It will be like virtually crunching leaves inside a string. Kind of. It will have to be very small leaves, but yeah. That's the power of a physical modeling engine. You you can simulate impossible things but based on real things and that's why they sound good or organic at least. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the patch. So um, here I have a fluid pitch control. Here I have a super small range of pitch because this is what happens. For example, with the, the pitch and becomes a looping delay. Also this 
crunchiness builds up. And I really love that. You can do a lot of stuff. But yeah, basically, uh, here I have uh, a quantized node generator, so everything that comes from this slider goes through this little engine that selects only multiples. Uh, it, it confronts it with, with, a, with a table I'm giving from here. For example, I, I am on a blues scale. So, for example, there, here. Here on the slider, I, I am moving the slider a little bit, but this is the selected uh, node. As you can see, is not changing because here there are no notes contained in the blue scale, pentatonic manner. But here, for example, we have a lot. No notes here. Notes here. And this is a global scale, as I am using the same scale to generate uh, frequencies to pilot a tune filter for feedback. This is, I think, the, the most interesting part, uh, as I am putting some of the sound that comes out from the Carpal um, Strong Engine delay back inside the delay, but tuning it with the with the Benthos filter, so that's how it sounds. Usually s sounds good when you have some contrast, so for example, you have a low texture and I really love how it sounds in the, low, in the lower pitches. And maybe I can use a high frequency like 777.5 minus. So. And I really love how organic it is. It really sounds very musical. The way it blends into it. Of course, you, you can change the type of the filter here, uh, put more effects. It's the basic idea of um, feedback injection, which I always used in my uh, matrix mixer techniques. In fact, this patch is a, is a study for a future video I, will, uh, I want to make with a matrix mixer. So to have, a, for example, a matrix uh, managing uh, various delay paths from different um, points of, uh, on the path of the of, of the Carpal Strong engine. Uh, and here you have the exciter volume, so you can, I can turn off the exciter and still have the, the trail, while well, here is just bare volume. And it has its reverby uh, character, that's how the couple strong sounds, but I also want to put some uh, extra reverb in the path. I'm using Reverb CH. I'm using it a lot since I I discovered this by Scott Nogland. He did a terrific job. Just needs not tuning nothing. Just put your sound through this, and it sounds really wonderful. Here I am selecting just a, a part of the frequencies to reverberate. So I'm not reverberating the, the, the whole sound. It's Sweet spot I found 800 hertz, and also this is nice to have the sound itself run through a Benpas filter and reverberate it. Kind of kind of adds up to to the texture. The crunchiness. Let's see. No, where is the panner? Is 
is just uh, moving the sound with a, with a random uh, sample and hold engine. And here I can uh, change the, the rate, the, frequen the, the rate frequency of, uh, of movement from left to right, so I can go really low and lower. slowly moving from left to right and I can also go up to audio frequencies usually works better for for a panning but you can still just hear the, the sound moving and not weird warbly effects so let's play a little bit Here I have some other random generator for that, that moves the, this slider for me. I can choose a lower and higher value or a center value in the range. It moves the slider for me. are endless I, I really want to add things in in this part of the page the, the feedback thing and get it ready to to translate it in the analog domain and control it with the, with a matrix mixer maybe I could even think about doing a pure data patch with an external analog control might be a good idea anyways there are lots of of insert points in a in a um, Kerplus strong engine that's what what I like a lot so you you can play with, with a lot of different things and kind of hack it and so I think that's that's it for now uh, again thanks for this wonderful 2017 and have a happy 2018 thanks for staying with me and if you like this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel for a 2018 full of new videos.